What's up guys, it's Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors and today it is the Thursday garden update but it's actually one day earlier than we usually film it because I'm going to be filming a video for our other channel, Speed Bump Garage so it's only one day early, let's check out our progress. Here's our first watermelon plant, this plant is doing really good. Let's take a little walk around it, this is growing off into the weeds right here. This plant is looking awesome, really healthy. Look at those big old leaves, no bugs on the undersides, just big, big leaves. Looking good, looking good. And you can see the stump on these plants. I've been paying more attention to the stumps. And these stumps are so big at the base of these plants. There you go, you can see that probably inch two inches around the big sucker and here is the watermelon you can see I got my grapes underneath the watermelons and sheets to cover them so let's look at this Woo! this watermelon is doing really good it's probably 10 to 20 pounds doing really good it's over doubled the size in not even a week since last week so yeah, doing awesome. That's our first plant. Here's our second plant, and this plant is doing awesome again. It's the same as this one. These plants kind of intertwine, so I don't know where this plant stops and this plant stops. But it doesn't really matter, I guess. This plant is just doing awesome. And you can see, I had to clear a little spot for the grate. I didn't cut anything, I just moved some vines out of the way. Kind of redirected them. And you see some of them right here and some of them on that side. And this watermelon is getting pretty big. You can see probably 20 to 25 pounds already. Doing awesome. The only thing that concerns me is these bumps on the side. Just kind of indentions. I don't know. I don't think it really matters, but I've just never seen anything like that. But we're doing awesome so far. Here's our third watermelon plant. This plant is doing good. Really good. And you can see we have a watermelon set right here. Oh, here's one of the watermelons. I forgot to cull. Didn't even see that one. And the reason why we cull the extra watermelons off each plant is because we want that plant to focus on one watermelon and one watermelon only. We want it to push all the nutrients to that one watermelon instead of pushing nutrients evenly through several different watermelons. So we're going to put one watermelon on and cull all the other ones. And there's the watermelon that we have on. Woo! Ugh! That one's probably 20, 20, 25 pounds, maybe even 30. I'm not sure if it's there quite yet, but it is doing awesome. Here's AJ's plant, our fourth watermelon, and this plant's doing really good too. We have some vines coming through here and tangling into those. That mine's off of that plant that we just looked at. We have this vine running into over here. Redirect that onto the plastic. And this plant is one of the biggest leaf plants I've ever seen. Look how big that watermelon leaf is. It, that is way bigger than my head. It's so huge. Look how big that is. That's crazy. And let's look at his watermelon on here. This watermelon is probably 10, 15 pounds. Pretty much like the other ones, other than the 20 and 25 pound ones. But, watermelon is really pretty. I think it's going to do really good this year. Here's our fifth watermelon plant. This plant is getting really big. The plant's still growing, actually. Comes all the way out here. And, it's doing really good. And again, this, this plant has not as big of a leaf, but I think it's longer. 
It's got a really long leaf on it. And it's just looking good. And here's our watermelon. It's weird because this one's almost identical shaped to that one. It has kind of a little crease right here. And it's probably 10 to 15 pounds also. Here's our sixth watermelon plant. And as you guys know, we haven't had much luck with this one. And if you look right over here in the past few days, we've had a watermelon take on it and get pretty big. So hopefully that one can get big. And we also have this one and that one for backup in case that one goes down. But as soon as we know that one's gonna stay, we'll cull those and get that one on a grate. That's all the watermelons. We've made a lot of progress. Now we're heading back to the backyard garden to look at the progress we made back there. And next week's garden update is gonna be a good one because I'll show you guys the plants just as usual and then we'll go through and estimate the weight on all of the watermelons. And that's always fun. They'll be big enough next week to do that. Take a tape measure, take the circumference and a bunch of other stuff, multiply them together and then put them on a graph and see how much your watermelon is supposed to weigh. And then we can do that like every week or every day and compare how much the watermelons are growing. So yeah, be looking forward to next week. Here's the backyard garden. This feels kind of weird without AJ, but these pepper plants, ugh, they're just not doing good. They haven't done good all year. Like this, this pepper plant should be way bigger by now. And it's just not, it does have some blooms on it though. And then that one's not doing good at all. Now the cucumbers, these cucumbers have kind of gone downhill because of the heat, I think. But they were thriving. We got so many cucumbers off of them for that several week period. And now they're just kind of going downhill. We picked one big one off of there and AJ ate it. And then we have this one to pick right here. So yeah, still producing a little bit. I think this is going to produce a lot more. Too. I saw a few blooms on this yesterday. This is a big vine. Yeah, here you go. We have that little cucumber on there. That'll still produce. That's still looking healthy. There's several plants in there, so it looks like this one's more healthy and it's shooting stuff off of there. So, now for our tomato plants. These tomatoes have not produced much this year. And I, I'm not sure why. Some years we do cherry tomato plants and they just produce a lot. But something with this year, just not producing much. We have so many blooms and we fertilize this almost every day. But we only had two tomatoes on it. I, I think we picked three this year, which is terrible. But these have been on there for a few weeks and they're just now starting to turn red. Well guys, that's the end of the Thursday garden update. It was a good one. We've got a lot of watermelon progress and be looking forward to next week because you'll know the estimates on those watermelons. Kind of just guessing off the top of my head. I'm super excited because right now is like their peak of growth. They're growing so much each day. So I'm super excited for next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go down there, ring the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next video.